Hello everyone up there, my name is Green Explosion 111 and today we are playing Origins. <clears throat> it's round 8, I've got the wind stuff. Uh, and this is going to show you how to upgrade the fire stuff. Uh, now, first of all, uh, you'll need to collect the fire stuff. So, in order to do that, you'll need to collect all the three pieces, collect the disc, go down into the crazy place uh, with the fire stuff. You know, go down into the crazy place uh, from the fire crazy place, collect the fire gem and then you'll want to yeah j just pick up the fire gem and you, you you can go and craft the stuff um so i'm gonna just quickly go grab the stuff so fire i need to go to gen three um now this is going to be a raw unedited video uh, i might add a couple of edits but i'm not gonna uh, cut the recording or anything uh, just so i can show you in full detail the easiest and quickest ways to do it so once you've collected all your three parts and your disc you go down here um and you come over here. Oh crap! I forgot to grab the gramophone. Jeez. See, this this is why you you gotta learn from my mistakes, guys. Um. So, so yeah, <laughs> you you always have to pick up the gramophone because if you don't, then you'll have to go back and grab it again. So yeah, J just just grab the gramophone. Um. So you wanna go grab the gramophone. Yada yada yada. And while I'm doing this, I should probably tell you how to get the three pieces if you don't already know. So. What no gramophone? Um, there are the, the three ways to collect the five pieces are actually pretty simple. All you need to do is you need to go. Uh, one of them is to kill the Panzer. Uh, you just kill the Panzer and he'll drop it, and then you can just go and pick it, pick it up. All right, that was close. You can just go and pick it up. Uh, and then another one, you have to shoot down a plane uh, here with a bullet-based weapon. Uh, so like an SDG or something like that. By the way, boom builders and ray guns do not count. Um, and then you'll also need, uh, uh, yeah, and that's how you pick up those. And then there are three locations for the fire disc, which I'll show you later once I've finished collecting the gem. Um, so actually, no, I can tell you, uh, and it's a pretty good idea. So one of them is just underneath the tank when you first walk into the church. Um, there'll be, the, the, you'll just walk into the tank, go to the right hand side of the tank, go uh, underneath it sort of, and then you'll be able to pick up the part. Another one is on the burning seats after you've gone up the stairs. And then another one will be on a box by generator 6, on top of it just lying flat. So that's the locations for the disc I guess. Um, this is, wait is this gen 2? Let me go to gen 3. Alright. So, I don't know if I'm going to do how to upgrade the other stuffs. Um, possibly. Maybe not. Uh, I don't... Like, this is, to, to be honest, and to be fair with you, this is the only stuff I know how to upgrade right now, but I, I will learn. Holy crap. That was close. See, you want to go into the crazy place once you've placed down your gramophone. You need the disc to do this. You can't go in without the disc. You want to come over here where the stone has appeared. Now, be sure not to get crushed or anything by this. Um, then you want to come over here, access teleporter, yada, yada, yada. While that's accessing, you can just train the zombies around. So, what I'm going to ask you to do, now I know I said you should always pick up your gramophone, but right now, you're going to want to leave your gramophone here because you'll be coming back to the crazy place through fire. Um, you'll want to go craft the fire stuff. Uh, so, you just go to no man's land, you go up to the ex ex excavation site, and you pick up, uh, you go down into the bottom, go down to the red pedestal, hold square until it's crafted, pick it up. Uh, note, you can only have one staff at any given time, so just something to, you know, take into consideration. Um, Yep, so just go up here. Go down here. So past pack punch, just down these stairs here. Through here. Just go down. Uh, and while you're down here as well, uh, there's something you can do in advance for upgrading it. I think you can do it now. Uh, I'll make sure just by... Alright, so let's pick up the fire stuff. Um, now this stuff is actually pretty good, it's the uh, second, it's the stuff with the second most ammo in it and it shoots basically a cone of three fire shots in a range uh, of wherever you shoot. So you want to run along these panels and there'll be four levers around. You want to pull them, 
until the things over here turn red. So I've got three of them turned red already. Now I just need to turn this one red, I'm pretty sure. No. Oh, yes. Uh, so once they're all red, you, that, that that's good. So one more. All right, now as you can see, they're all red. All three, all four of them are red. Now you want to leave those. Don't pull any other levers once all four of them are red. So you want to go back up here. Um, now this is the probably the easiest part. Uh, actually, no, the last part's the easiest. But like this is probably the easiest part in terms of actually getting the stuff like started. Oh god, I'm gonna have to be quick here. All right. So you, what you want to do is you want to go back to the fire star place. I don't know why I went through this way. You want to go back to the fire, the da, 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 fire crazy place. Uh, so that's why I told you to leave it there because you'll be going back. Um, let's just let's get that back there first. So we're gonna go through here. Yep. Note, guys, uh, I'm still kind of new to Origins, so I don't know my way fully around it. I know I've, I've got a pretty good idea of where everything is. Uh, I know how to get around it. Like, I can get around it. I know where everything is. It's just I don't know the best route sometimes. So you want to go through Generator 3. Um, so I'm not the best, but yeah. Got to go to Gen 3. Pass through here. Go back to Fire Crazy Place. Um... Now the reason you want to go back to Fire Crazy Place is because you need to complete the first step here. Now there are four cauldrons just here. Now what you want to do is when the zombies they uh, stand on these fire grates, you want to kill them with the fire stuff. You can't use any other weapon, just the fire stuff has to be the fire stuff, and then these will start to fill up. Uh, note you can only like if you leave the crazy place and come back thinking you can do it later you can't you have to be in here the whole time so as you can see one of them's filled up and they'll get progressively like harder to fill up with souls um, and if they're not killed on the grate their uh, soul won't count so if you can see smoke coming up as well that's how you know their the souls are going in from their heads like that the black smoke and uh, now you just want to keep on doing this uh, so I've got two filled up We'll just keep on doing this. So this is possibly... It depends on how good of a player you are. Uh, if you're a bad player, then you might just want to camp. But I'm training them around a bit. Um, just for me, because it's a bit easier to train them. So uh, if the round ends, it doesn't matter. Just stay on the uh, in, in the fire, crazy place. Uh, it doesn't matter if you leave the grates. You can leave the grates. Um, but yeah, so you just want to stay in the crazy place. Uh, Gen 2, I'll, I'll, I'll get that in a minute, I guess. I'll just finish this off. It doesn't really matter. Like, if, if that happens, then um, you can do it if you want and come back. But I'm going to finish this because I don't have... To, like, I'll be able to get there in time before it takes another generator. Uh, I do suggest if you want to camp, you stay on the grates because it'll be easier. Okay, that one's done. So now we can go back. Now remember, remember, now you can pick up your... Actually, no. No, 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 leave your gramophone there because you, you don't really need it for anything else until later on. So, yeah, you can leave it there. That's fine. Now, you want to make sure as well that you have a decent weapon. Because if you don't, uh, the last step is going to be pretty difficult. Um, as I've learned before, because I once used the SDG on the last step. Okay, so we've killed those guys. Uh, now, the next step, uh, I'm just going to quickly go to Gen do too but once I finish this I'll we can move on to the next step so I'm just gonna complete this all right so the next step um, this one's gonna be kind of difficult for me to explain but there are, let me see, one, two, three. There are f seven symbols on the wall in the church. So we're going to go over to the church now. But there are seven symbols on the wall. And this is using the ternary system, um, which is a numeral system, which basically counts, um, uses circles and uh, dots and stuff to um, symbolize numbers. So we go in here. Um, I know which is which. I've got a piece of paper here. So these are the staff symbols. So if we go up here. Alright, so they're all on this wall over here. 
Uh, so I'll show you which means which so if you want to write it down. This one right here means 11. That uh, forms into 11. That equals 5. This is 9. This is 7. This is... S oh wait, no. Hold on. That's... This is 9, yeah. This is not 7. Wait, where's 7? This is 7. This is 6. So, alright, so this is 7. This is 6. This is 3. And then this is 4. So what you want to do is, uh, that's 11, 9, 11, 9, 6, 11, 9, 6, 11, 9, 6, 4, 11, 9, 6, 4, 11, 9, 6, 4. 11, 9, 6, 4. If you come down here, there are all these torches with numbers on them, which correspond with the numbers that you have. So 11, 9, 6, 4, and you have to do it really quickly. It doesn't matter what order you do it in 11, 9, 6, 4. Now this one here with the blood splatter, that's 4. That means 4. Uh, the blank one. So 11, 9, s okay. 11. It's 9. Now it doesn't matter what order you do it in, like I said. Alright, now you'll hear this noise and your screen will shake a bit so that's how you know it's completed now this um yeah i think you're done pretty much so uh if you've done it correctly you would have turned those symbols up top and you would have made them all red if you go upstairs go down back into the excavation site back down where the um back down where the rings were uh and they're all red they should all be red since, uh, yeah, uh, it was easier to do it then. So yeah, mine are all red. You want to go down here, and there'll be a little orb. You want to shoot it, and then it'll fly into the air. And then you'll want to go back down into the fire crazy place. And that's where it will be, in the pedestal. So we'll go down to the fire crazy place, down to the pedestal. This is getting really difficult, actually, just to survive here. The fire staff's good for close quarters though, so I should be good. Yep, go back down to the fire. Crazy place. So we need to go back to Gen 3. And once you're in there, there'll be the orb. The orb will be on the pedestal where you picked up your gem uh, at the beginning, making the fire staff. Uh, now remember, you can always pick up the gem before you've got all the parts. You don't need to pick up the parts before picking up the gem. Uh, just because... You know, you can, uh, you just need the discs to go into the crazy place. So yeah, so we've got the gem, we've made it. We need to go through to gen three, go back into the crazy place. Actually, I'll, I'll dig this up while I'm here just to get the parts. <clears throat> All right. So going down to fire crazy place. Now what you want to do is you once you get in here, the as I said the ball will be on the pedestal where you picked up your gem. You want to place down your staff in the pedestal like that. Now like I said before you want a good a decent weapon and you need to kill 20 zombies. It doesn't matter anywhere in the crazy place the souls will go towards the fire. It doesn't have to be too close. Um, and you just want to kill 20 zombies with any weapon. Doesn't matter. Um, and once you've killed 20 zombies, a symbol will come up uh, with the fire staff and there'll be a white glow around it. And once that white glow is there, so we'll just kill these zombies and I'll tell you what happens next and stuff. Uh, so you don't have to kill too many zombies for this. Uh, it's not as much as the um, bows in the bows in bloody the eyes and jerk, although the bows are a bit easier to do. Okay. Oops. All right, there, like that. And then you want to go over to it, and you can pick up your fire stuff. And now you have K K uh, Kaguchi's blood. Now this is the upgraded fire stuff. It has a one-hit kill to round 16, um, with the knives on the side, and then it becomes a two-hit. And then you have an extra effect where you bring back the rear end of your um, stuff, and you can shoot it at downed players, and it will revive them instantly it doesn't give them back their perks and the charge shot uh, there, there's two different shots there's the charge shot which should take up three um, out of your magazine and it basically just shoots a whole bunch of lava and if the zombies walk through this lava uh, while they're still here they will also get damaged um, now this is one of this is the best star for killing panzers 
uh, as well. You just need to be close, which I know sounds a bit dangerous and scary, but you just need to be close. Shoot a charge shot once at them, and the pants will die pretty much instantly. So that that's the fire staff upgraded, the Kaguchi's blood. Um, yeah, so we're gonna we're just gonna test it out. We're gonna show you uh, it against some zombies. We're gonna get some gameplay of it. Uh, pick up the gramophone. Now, when it's uh, upgraded, the shots, I believe, still fire the cone, but it fires five out instead of just three. Uh, so it is a bit better than the original shot. Uh, and yeah, so this is it. So let's go and just test it out. We'll wait till a panzer comes and we'll kill it with that. So I'm going to take up my mic now. Uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. We're just going to do some gameplay. See you in a bit. Protect my flank from attack. The Hellspawn fight for control of the generators. Again, we must battle the armored one. Victorious from battle. Feel the might of the motherland. of energy coursing through my blood. Your fatal touch is unwelcome. How was this modification achieved? from the dead. 